Welcome back to the workshop. We want to continue taking a look at section 3.7, conditional distributions. And we'll actually look at the definition uh, that is for the section title, conditional distributions. So if we have f of x, y, the uh, joint probability distribution of the discrete random variables x and y, and we have the marginal distribution h of y, uh, giving probabilities of y, of course, uh, then the function given by f of x given y, the conditional distribution uh, is given by f of x, y divided by h of y, uh, where h of y is not equal to zero. So we're not, uh, we're not defining the uh, conditional distribution on quite as many values as uh, the marginal distributions or the joint probability distributions are uh, defined because we don't want to have division by zero. So that of course makes sense. Uh, so uh, let's see here. Similarly, uh, we, we denote it by a different letter, uh, W, although the letters are really quite arbitrary. We could call this K and this Z or G and it doesn't really matter, but uh, the conditional distribution of uh, uh, y given a value of x would be similar f of x comma y divided by g of x where g of x is the uh, marginal distribution of x. So this matches essentially what our definition is of conditional probabilities because when we evaluate this at specific values for x and specific values for y, what we end up with is the joint probability, that is the probability that both of these things occur, divided by the larger probability that the particular uh, value of y is taken on, uh, right? The marginal probability. So this is, this matches, it is the exactly the same thing as we have for the definition of conditional probability when it's evaluated at specific values. Now it can actually be left in its most generic form just like this, uh, not specifying the X or Y value uh, in either case, or we could specify a Y value here and find one specific uh, conditional distribution. And we could find uh, for one specific value of X, the, uh, the conditional distribution here as well. Uh, and that's exactly what we'll do in our first example. But when we move on to conditional densities for continuous random variables, it's actually possible to leave it very generic and leave it in terms of X uh, uh, and Y. Uh, so that way we are actually considering uh, all conditional distributions at the same time. Once we specify uh, in such a case as the marginal distribution uh, of X given Y, uh, right. Once we choose a value for y, then we would get the marginal, that particular marginal distribution, or sorry, that uh, particular conditional distribution. But we'll take a look at that in, in a later example. So let's, uh, let's take a look at our example for the discrete uh, random variables first. So this is the same examples, again, that we've been looking at over the past couple of sections. So on my shelf are two programming texts, one inorganic chemistry text, and three calculus texts. Uh, X is the random variable of the number of programming texts, and Y is the random variable of the number of calculus texts that are chosen when we choose those two books from the shelf. So a couple of these are zero. So again, line through them blank or writing a zero is all perfectly acceptable. Uh, but then we have our marginal distributions already given to us and we find uh, the joint distribution is also given, right? We, we found all of these things in the previous two sections. So that's fine, we're, we're all set there. And what we'd like to do is we would like to find the conditional distribution of X given that Y is equal to one. So essentially all that we're doing is restricting our view to this particular row. Okay, so we have, uh, we have f of x given one, right? We want to find the conditional distribution of x uh, given that y is equal to one. 
and this is equal to f of x comma 1 divided by h of 1. And we can begin to fill this out. Do we know all the values of f of x comma 1? Yes, of course. Uh, those are these three values here. And then do we know the value of h of 1? Yes, we do. Right, this column here, so let's get rid of this thing. Um, this column gives the, dis the conditional distribution of y, or sorry, the marginal distribution of y. So this is h of y. And of course, this is uh, g of x. So we have our marginal distributions. Uh, so we can evaluate this. Uh, again, f of x1 uh, is essentially a piecewise defined function. These are the three different values that it takes on for the uh, three different inputs. And then h of 1 is, h of 1 is 8 fifteenths. So then all we have to do is go ahead and plug in those particular values. So f of x, f of 1, 1, uh, actually we start at 0 here, f of uh, 0, 1 is 2 fifteenths. So we end up with 2 fifteenths over 8 fifteenths for x equal to 0. Uh, we end up with, for x equal to 1, we have 6 fifteenths, 6 fifteenths over 8 15th for x equal to 1. And then finally, when x is equal to uh, 2, we have 0 as a probability. So 0 for x equal to 2. And of course, I can simplify those fractions. Uh, so that way, our uh, conditional distribution of x given that y is equal to 1 is exactly two eighths or one quarter for x equal to zero, six eighths or three quarter for x equal to one, and then zero for x equal to two. And that is our conditional distribution of x given that y is equal to one. So uh, pretty much exactly what we did in our uh, example from the intro video. Uh, and that's it. So we'll move on in the next video to take a look at uh, conditional densities. And then after that, we will move on to, of course, when there's more than two, uh, two random variables. So I'll see you guys back in the workshop for a little bit more on conditional distributions very shortly.